What do you do to stay loose during the recording process so that you just don't get too stressed out? Well, we do the same thing we do every day, you know, I mean, we go in there and we party our asses off and get just as fucked up there as we do out here, you know, so it's it's not too difficult. I got more shit-faced in the studio recording this album than I have in my life, like, I rolled down the stairs naked, like, just, I lost my clothes. I don't even know, how the fuck did I lose my clothes? <laughs> I got I got fucking rug burn on my ass. <laughs> it was bad. Do you ever worry about your health? I mean, how how long can you celebrate every day for? We do actually. actually we sent him to the doctor twice in yeah. the last like six months. They were worried that my liver was shutting down. And I went to the doctor. He said I'm okay. <laughs> my he, this is his exact words. He said uh, your enzyme your liver enzymes are a little high, but there's not you know any reason for concern right now. But if you keep going the way you're going in 10 years, you're gonna have some serious trouble. <laughs> that was his exact words, and uh... So you got nine years to figure it out? <laughs> exactly. Right. You guys broke the record uh, with the last album. You are the highest selling mobile band in the history of rock. Yeah. It's through ringtones and those kinds of things. Isn't that amazing? It's fucking ridiculous. Like, <laughs> with all the great songs that have been out, like the fact that we've sold more ringtones than anyone else's blows my mind. Yeah, I mean that's that's probably my my favorite statistic because you yeah. know you're outselling bands like ACDC and fucking Motley Crue and GNR. Like, come on, dude, that's incredible. You know. Yeah. Back in the '80s and early '90s, you'd sell 15 million albums. Now, if you sell 15 million albums, you're a fucking you're a freak. Like that doesn't happen anymore. Right because people download and there's other outlets of getting the music and so you don't really sell that many albums so it's it's cool that there's other there's other outlets of getting your music out there to people does that make you think differently when writing and recording songs i mean that that truly is taking singles and making them that much more important we try to make every song a single no matter what you know i mean we we just write the songs that we would want to hear you know and and you know that's all we do so you know hopefully people dig it you know we'll see blower's got an abnormally large nut sack and he stretches it out and she's like so what's the problem and i was like well my girlfriend bent on my dick last night and i'm bleeding from the inside